Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we are on Passive. We are here today for the Julie and Milo show. Milo is going to start the show very shortly as soon as he's joining us back. Um, he is going to, let's, let's see, he just texted me. Uh, he got kicked out. <laughs> Come back in, right? He's going to be joining us shortly. And as he's joining us, he's going to start singing his song. And I'll open uh, the show just like normal. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Uh, all founders and friends around the world. Let me see. I am going to have... Um, if you like to be on the panel with us, please go ahead and raise your hands and then we will bring you onto the panel. Uh, we're waiting for Milo to come and join us. Let's see. Milo, if you're in the house, please uh, go ahead and unmute your mic so that I uh, could bring you on. I am in. All right, I'm so glad you're back. Just wanted to let you know you are being recorded and it is now going around the world. Uh, as you know, being in non-passive, it's a place where we all uh, should be, <laughs> right? Uh, Milo, are you ready to go? I am. Oh, it's so good to be here. Here we go. Y'all ready? You don't want to miss a single word they say Bringing you founders from a near and far Listen as they tell you now just who they are Listen to the stories and how they tell Just three minutes how they're doing well Telling us what it's all about today And how they're loving that old staff The way on passive Get to hear the day on passive there's just no better way to listen to the Julie and the Milo show Cause then you will be the very first to know on passive It's a here to stay Julie and Milo show is coming your way Saturday on passive Oh yeah, Julie, 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 Julie Take it away, Julie Thank you, Milo Good morning, good afternoon, good evening today is Saturday, January 22nd, 2022. Welcome to the Julie and Milo show. My name is Julie. I am coming to you from Big Bear, California. My dear friend Milo is on the other side of the country. Milo, if you could please say hello. Hey, how are you guys doing? What an exciting day. We get to talk about old staff today. We're going to have some good things coming up. And we're just excited, man. The first time we've been a syndicated show where we're going around the world live. Uh, and we're glad that you joined us today. Thank you, Milo. Absolutely. We're so glad that you are joining us. For all of our viewers on YouTube channel, we're, uh, we're glad that you are here. We welcome you here with us today. All of our friends here in the Zoom, we're almost, uh, we hit uh, mid almost 160 people are joining us here today and we have more people are coming in to join us as well if you are on the attendee and if you like to be um in the panel please raise your hands we would love for you to join us today as milo have said it milo is going to change his name into on passive which is popping it up he is also um a dear friend of mine and we are here today to co-host this beautiful day on Saturday. As Milo has mentioned, last week on Thursday, we have witnessed a historic event around the world that came directly from a live event in Boston, USA. And we did launch our product, O Staff. It's one of the powerful products of OnPassive. And many of us have been in the attendance of that meeting and then also there's thousands i believe there was almost 5000 our live stream around the world as well thank you so much everyone for coming on and join us on last thursday 
As Milo has said, today we would love to hear from our founders, our guests who attended that meeting uh, to actually could raise your hand and talk to us about what you thought about it when you heard um, about OSTAP, when you were witness that historic event on Thursday. And as the Julia and Milo shows rule, we always love to hear from you, but we do have set the time limit as the number is increasing. We are having over almost uh, closing to 200 people are joining us today. As you understand, we do limit that time for you to speak. So if you like to speak today, we would love to hear from you, but we would like to limit that time to be at three minutes. And if you finish and you, you still like to talk about it, you still want to come back and join us, please do raise your hands. We'd love to have you back on as well. And as today, we have friends, founders, guests are joining us today. Milo, I'm sending it back to you to see if you could give us your thoughts on OSTAF, one of the big product of OnPassive. Milo. Absolutely, Julie. But before I do, just uh, to make sure that uh, what, we're what we'll end up doing is if you want to talk a second time, if someone's up for the first time, they'll jump ahead of you. So that's the way we'll work it. But you'll, you can raise your hand anytime you want to. But wow, what a what an incredible meeting. Uh, you know, and when we've seen the old staff, man, if I don't know. If you're not fired up, man, your wood's wet. That's for sure. Because uh, that old staff is just something else, you know, and it's incredible. And I don't care who you are, you'll be able to use it, you know. Uh, small business, big business, multi-billion dollar business, it doesn't matter. And the main thing is to share it out with people. I guarantee if you share it out with people, people's going to realize what a gym that we do have, you know. And it is incredible, you know, and I, I want to just uh, allow others to get to. I said my thing uh, the other day, and, and I will come back in later, but I would like to get right to it because a lot of the people on here did not, were not on the panel, did not to get to say what they thought about it. And I think it's just great that we can get together and we can learn from each other because to everybody, it means something different. So uh, start raising your hands, man, and we'll start bringing you on right now. Absolutely, Milo. It was, um, you know, Milo and I had a chance to speak about all thoughts of that meeting. Uh, you know, we like to use this platform, this time right now for founders around the world to raise your hands and share your thought about what was it like to you witness OSTAF? Have you, did you ever imagine how OSTAF would be? Or even if you have some type of HR experience, um, you know, in your life years ago, you could also raise your hands and talk to us about that as well. What was your reaction when you heard about OSTAP, when you witnessed that, um, that historic event? I'm bringing some more in from the panel, uh, from the attendees. Um, I would love to hear everyone here. I do see that Marty DeGamo is here with us. We see Angie Hans is here with us. We see Bill Must is here with us. So good to have you all here as well. Thank you for all the leaders around the world are joining us. I see Lynn is here with us. I see Richard is here. I see John Barilla from New York is here with us. I see David Schweitzer. I see Sandra Fletcher is here with us. Donna Hambling is with us. Bruce Gerstein, Listra, Marie Pendy is here with us. Tim Dillon, Alan, Car uh, Alan G, uh, G, Alan Carr. Hi, Alan. Tim Dillon, Keith Mose, uh, Leon Holiday is here with us. Momodu is here with us. Marcianne Hamagoo. I'm going to go ahead and say hello to everyone uh, while we're waiting for some of our founders if they would like to talk a little bit about it. I also see Chris Stanovich is here with us. Helen De La Vista is here with us. Pam Stanovich, Judy Miller, Sherry Dursaway, Craig Lakin is here with us. Let's see who else I haven't called. I'm so glad that you are here. Polly Cherry, good to see you. Okan Umana is here with us. Dr. Benny, Travers, Peters, and uh, let's see, Lori Lim is here with us. Anji Hans is here with us. 
Uh, hopefully today we're going to hear from Angie a little bit more. I do understand <laughs> that I know I kind of call on you as you pop on, um, but you know, if whenever you feel free to, I would love to hear from you because I do know that you do have some background about uh, HR as well. Uh, Jamine Afrin, good to hear from you. Good to have you here. Louis, uh, I'm gonna bring you on. William DeLone, I'm gonna bring you uh, also on the panel as well. Let's first of all to hear, um, you know what, Marty, I see that you are in here with us today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send it back to Milo and see if he can share a little bit about his thought and maybe if you could uh, send it to Marty and see if we can hear from Marty as well. What did you say, share what? I'm gonna send it back to you and if you like to speak a little bit about that, and then if you could uh, introduce okay. somebody to, to speak a few words. Sure, absolutely. You know, I guess uh, waiting for people to raise their hand or whatever, but uh, Marty, it's it's just an incredible thing. I mean, all the things that it has, you know, some of the things that really impressed me about it was how easy it is to put information in. When you have an import button and you can put stuff in and you have an export button that can get stuff, get your data out, that's unheard of. I mean, usually people, they want you to put your stuff in, but they don't want to let you get it out and they don't want to let it work with other systems and stuff like that. This is so easy that you'll be able to put everything into one place. You know, that was one of the things that I, I really loved, you know, and the other thing was the process. You know, when you put people in and you can set up a whole process system, you know, how to bring people on onboarding. What about an employee manual? What if you got things that you want to do? Then how about, uh, you know, the communication between the high up and, and the floor? That a lot of time loses in, in corporations and stuff. I know when I used to be on the floor, I was a, a mill room manager, you know, and then you had the general manager. And then from there you had the, the owner or whatever, you know, the CEO. And a lot of times trying to get the information that maybe a group had a great day, you know, and it would be great if you could send one email up to the manager and to the CEO, and he could he could target that group because they're all in one group. He could send them an email, hey, great day. You know, the main thing, uh, a lot of people, uh, you know, the reason people quit jobs usually is because they feel underappreciated. You know, sometimes it's not about the money. It's about hearing, thank you, man. Thank you for doing a good job. You know, thank you for working hard. And as founders, I would like to say that right now. Thank you all for working so hard at this. You know, what is happening right now is because of you. You know, every one of us involved. And that's important. But uh, anyway, uh, Marty, I'm going to send it to you and then we'll get into the hands. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i far from an expert on any type of uh, staffing, uh, like O staff or something. But as I watched it, I know that I work for a Fortune 500 company and I travel a lot around the world. And, you know, you'd be paid per diem or you, they would judge your, your vacation depending on how much extra time you worked or, and a lot of times, you would have an, uh, a new general manager come in, okay? And then you got to sell yourself again. I see with this, with this product that everything is there. So if somebody new came, he pushes a button, it gives the history of everybody in the company. And it's not, you know what I mean? It's something like that. And the other one I know for a fact, I knew a lady that she was in charge of HR and she was constantly going from one to the other. I said, how could she be that busy? Well, I know now from Susie, but she was jumping from one app, uh, one application to another application, logging in, logging out, logging in, logging out. And none of them, none of them okay. fed each other. So you, you were constantly moving back and forth. And then you added up what you wanted, right? I want to know how much time they have. You put that here. Did they go here? Boom. What did they get from another company? Boom. And all that will be on one. And I know without a doubt, the biggest asset for a company is the employees. It's the people. It's not the equipment. It's not none of that. And if you can free up time by all the nonsense with HR or, or taking care of your people, that's priceless. And like Milo said, 
you can watch his people's performance, push a button and say, for that month, John Smith did this and this. He's going to be the employee of the month. And like Milo said, this is a fact. We may not like it. A few bucks here and here don't add up to nothing like a data boy does or a, a plaque or, or something. Believe it or not, that's a big deal. Hey, you did a great job. I mean, people float for weeks with that. So, yeah, that, that's all I really have. But I'm really not an expert, but I loved hearing Susie and her friend. And uh, Janet Butler has a lot of um, uh, experience. I believe Angie Han does, too. So yeah, it's it's uh, from what I understand, this is a godsend to anybody in that industry. So I, I and like I said, there will be no, there will be zero competition, and the reason is why value. People are spending thousands and thousands a month for something that doesn't even compare to their staff. So it's a big deal. All right, thank you, Marty, and that is so true. I'm the same way. You know, I I I don't know any much about HR and all that stuff, but I do know that what I know, uh, what I seen was incredible. And I know being a church treasure that I could use this as a church treasure a program. You know, you can you can use it just about any place in the world. So let's get right on to the hands. Mr. David Schweitzer from Kansas City, come on down. Yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about old staff a little bit. Uh, I used to be a, a supervisor and a manager on the floor, and I had over 200 people that worked for me at the time. Now, I used to do payroll back in my older days, or younger days, let's put it that way. Uh, the thing is that, let's go back to the old time card days. The old time card days, I used to have to do the time cards and, and figure out the overtime and all the other stuff. I used to have to do all that stuff. And, uh, you know, and... Then we went to the Corona days and we started doing Coronas where people just, uh, uh, they used to have their own little, uh, uh, like it looked like a credit card and they, they punch in th that way. Well, the Corona, that was okay. But then during the week, you had to go through all the Coronas and fix the mistakes that, that maybe the people punched in early or punched in late or something like that. And you had to go through that and fix all that. And another thing too, uh, what's, uh, what's nice about that is the old uh, the, the staff. You're going to get to know your people a lot better too. Especially what I mean. I'm talking about maybe small business, and I'm talking about the bigger business. And the bigger business, you know, when you're out there managing the people and stuff, you're sometimes you don't have got time to get to know your people like you want to. But nice thing about the old staff is that you're going to be able to check on your people through old staff, and you're going to check on the birthdays, uh, his vacations, and uh, is an anniversary date that he started up with the company. Maybe that you want to go out there and give him a pat on the back. Hey, you've been with us for a year, or, you know. So you want to go out there and let that person know that you've been with us for a year or so. Where um, that's the nice thing about old staff is it's going to keep track of the starting time and uh, the quitting time and the, everything else. And maybe he's going to you're going to keep track of the performance of that person. You know, if he's a good worker, you're going to have that's gonna, you're gonna put a little bit of note in there in, on that person's page that, hey, this guy's a pretty good worker, you know? We need to pay a little bit more attention to him, you know? Maybe you wanna give him a little bit extra money, maybe give him a raise because he is a good worker out there and he is doing you a good job out there for you. You know, that's a good way to recognize a supervisor is gonna recognize that person that way too. And maybe, you know, this guy comes to work every day, every day. and. You want to give him a pat on the back because he comes to work every day and every day for you. You know, there's a lot of, and you know, that's what's good thing about old staff because old staff is going to keep track of every person that works for you out the night floor. I'm talking about small business and I'm also talking about little business, you know, it's good for everything, you know. So um, there's a lot of things that supervisor can come in there and maybe put a little bit of note in there underneath that person. Hey, this guy's done me a good job for that day, you know. I want to give him a pat on the back because he did me a good job for that day. So there's a lot of good reason. There's a lot of good things about all staff is going to do for a lot of people. It's going to help recognize the people a lot better. The work performance, their abatees, make sure they come here work on time. Or even if you have problems with some people, you know, like we do have problems with some people. Maybe they don't work that great. Maybe they, maybe we need to get this person in the office and talk to him about his work performance and stuff like that. You can keep track of all that 
stuff, you know, and anything that's going to help that person, it's going to help that person out better. It's going to, it's going to say, well, I better start doing a little bit better job on the floor because if I don't do a better, good job, they're going to be talking to me again, you know. So that's one good thing about old staff and staff is going to keep track of everything what that person does for you out on the floor. And oh, gosh. thank you, David. Oh, thank you. my gosh. Wait a minute, oh. wait a minute. I got to check. Is that David? Yeah, he's <laughs> with it. Uh, yeah, I know yeah. that's me. Oh, I mean, my God. He was getting going, boy. Oh, Back my gosh, you. David. I don't know if you see, but I just have a biggest smile on my face watching you and listening to you. You brought up a very important point is about you know, keeping track of the employees of, of, you know, kind of encouraging them to do more. But just think about this really quick. When you are the business owner and you need one, two position and you have to sit there and process, right? Hundreds of applications. And yes, I did. I was um, back in the day <laughs> when I was somewhere younger, some, you know, and uh, I, I used to work for a company who processing application, I think it's more like a, um, a staffing company. I brought people to a staffing company and uh, literally there are like hundreds and hundreds of people there sending applications for only a few, you know, positions that are open. And then, and then you know, I, I literally jumped in and helped them. It wasn't my job, but I just jumped in and kind of helped them because some of the people there are actually speaking the language, right? And then after that day, they actually offered me a job right there. It, but I didn't want to go through and process those, you know, hundreds of applications. So I think O staff is going to, to be streamlining some of these processes. And I'd like to introduce uh, to you Leon Holiday. Uh, I would love to hear from you, Leon. Please unmute your mic. Your mic is muted. Hi. Um, I'm Leon Holiday, and thank you for having me. And uh, thank you, Milo and Julie. I'm glad to be on your show. But uh, I watched that event the, on on Thursday. It was outstanding because it reminded me of the last five years of my employment. I'm retired, and the last five years of my employment, we were implementing uh, some kind of program for the for the. Uh, I worked for a special governmental district, right? And I was in charge of six wastewater treatment plant, 1,200 miles of sewer, 38 little station staff for 200 people. And then you got to remember the government agencies, you have to have license and certification and they have to stay up to par. And then you have to have um, not only safety, all the safety stuff in place because you're dealing with Cal OSHA all the time. And you're working in the streets, you're working in the sewers, you're working in the uh, wastewater treatment plants where it's a hostile environment constantly all the time. And you got people having birthdays and you have a budget and you got to work with HR. You got to work with the finance department. You got to work with the IT department. And everything I saw in this product was amazing because we had a product come in and they charged a half a million dollars. And, and after we they had took us months and months to train, eight months to train, it was hard. This system was so antiquated and so hard. And by the time everybody got trained, they said, oh, that's the basic you you owe us more money because that's just the licensing you took for the product itself. So by the time it was over, they were paying over a million dollars for the same thing. And it was much harder just by watching them launch old staff. I was able, because I understood what they were saying, I was able to, to utilize a whole year or two years just right away in five minutes that you could learn what we had to learn in, in, in almost a year and a half. And some people even two years trying to learn the system. So this product is so great because if you think about it, you have a company policy and the policies say you got to have, every employee got to be evaluated once a year. You got to keep up with all those employees. If I'm having 200 people and having five uh, direct reports, that means those direct reports got to manage those other 200 people and their evaluations have to be on time. Also there are step increases because your governmental agencies, a lot of those jobs, you have step increases. And sometimes you got to make sure they get their step increase on time. Else you're going to have to back pay them. And then also you got birthdays, you have anniversaries, you got people have certifications. And the governmental agencies say everybody has to, um, every two years you have to count education points to renew your license. 
before you can even renew your license, you got to have those education points. So that means you got the plant have to be properly staffed. You got to schedule all these people to be going different directions and still be accountable uh, for the company. So I'm telling you, this product is outstanding. I wasted countless hours of sleep at night go, uh, trying to uh, go through paperwork and paperwork. This staff will eliminate years and years of frustration, years of years of uh, uh, information just right at your fingertip. So when I saw this product, it had the, such a smile on my face and I was smiling the whole time saying, wow, we onto something. We onto something so great that uh, every, I can see every municipality, special government agency, and then, and big corporation using this product. This is an outstanding product. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank Steve. you, Leon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Leon. And next up, we yes. have Marie. Come on down, Marie. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Marie Pendy. I am chiming in from Virginia in the Washington DC area. Thank you so much to Julianne Milo for putting up this show every time and again, and we come in here to learn from each other. The old staff is a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece. It has every component that an HR department will need. So, but um, I've worked in private sector where we use Kronos and we use uh, different types of uh, uh, applications to monitor our time and all that stuff. So I have moved to the federal government, the United States federal government where I work. And I have a question or I have a question for any of the panelists who communicate with Ash to talk to him uh, and see if it is possible. Because if it is possible, I can see how it will be extremely wonderful for the federal government especially the Veterans Affairs Medical Center to work with the O staff. So I moved from the uh, private sector and now with the federal government. And we do have like a chronic culture that has been on for decades and decades that uh, HR doesn't, we don't use chronos or monitor or swipe in and out. Uh, to monitor your time. We have secretaries who does that manually. Um, it's a culture that is very difficult to break from the, fer uh, from the way they have been practicing for years and years. And here's the argument. They say that the senators and their staffs, the congressmen and their staffs and all the other branches do not clock in and out. We are under the federal government employees. But if those people don't clock in and out, why would a lower level employee who is still under the federal government be monitored while the others are not monitored? So my question is to, to Ash, that facial recognition and the swiping in and out, is that an option that an HR department may not use? Because if, they, if, if it's in, a, in, in the entire package and they have to use it, then I don't know if the federal government will want to buy it because people have gone all the way to sue for trying, for federal government trying to put monitors and all that to monitor certain employees and they've scrapped that out. So if an HR has the option of not using that part of the O staff, then I will see how it will sell extremely well with the federal government. And I hope that it, it HR has that option not to use that part like facial uh, recognition or you know um, uh, swiping in and out. If that is the case, then I'm very, very hopeful that we will sell this to the federal government. Thank you. Thank you, Marie. Um, I'm glad uh, you brought that up. As you understand, uh, lots of products of OnPassive uh, and especially OSTAF has been 
uh, using in uh, on passive uh, company itself, as we all understand and remember back in July, when Mr. Ash Mufar said that we are using the product O staff and it is continuing going. As you can see today, um, you know, you know um, what it is today, it's not just gonna stop there. It's gonna keep going and keep going and it's gonna get better. So your suggestion here and what you're raising up, I'm very sure that is something that you would want to, you know, keep in mind that it's gonna get there some um, you know, it's it's going to get better. What we've seen so far is basically just um, a little bit of the surface of it. And it, it also can be customized by the user as well. You know, that is very important. That's why on passive are creating these products, you know, these huge products can be customized by the user. If you have, you know, big company that is, um, joining us, they can customize that as well. And that is something that we are going to uh, see it's coming. Milo, do you have anything that you want to bring up with what Marie was just saying? No, I would just say that, you know, anything in, in uh, own passive or O staff, whatever, I'm sure that's customizable. You don't have to use any of the parts. You can use all of them or you can just use one or two of the parts. So I think it could all be customized. You could override that, uh, you know, facial recognition or anything like that, uh, uh, you will, you know, you'll have a, you'll have all kinds of options with it of what you can do, you know, as far as having your own C panel, you know, the whole works, you know, it's going to be a full blown system. So you'll have a lot of flexibility with it, I'm sure. Is that correct, Marty? Marty, yeah. 100%. It's all, it, it's the company. Whether it's government or anybody, they can do whatever they want. They can okay. customize it. They can use it, not use it. They could do, yeah, he made it so that the user is like the owner, really. It's amazing. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, Milo. Thank you, uh, Marie, for bringing that point up. But it is it is more to come. I think what we've seen so far, just, just the surface. All right, I see Okan Umana is in the house. Okan, if you would please unmute your mic. Yes, thank you very much. Um, greetings, everybody, all the brothers and sisters, all the unpassive members. Uh, I specifically want to thank you, Julie, that you have saved a lot of people's lives. Uh, you've been so great to a lot of people and a lot of people thank you behind and in front of you. Um, about the OSTAF, I run a nonprofit organization, which within these few months, I have had collaboration in five different countries, including Sudan, the four where the genocide is affecting millions of people. And I just have a collaboration with a company, with a nonprofit organization there, where we will be um, having schools for children, empowering women to farm, empowering a lot of people. As you know, one of our mission in our organization is to end the degradation of women. We want to empower every woman in every country that we go. And another mission is to end the death and suffering of African children and, and women. So farming, education, and other things that we are doing really welcomes the unpassive O staff. So I see myself as I don't have any I, I don't have any idea about HR, but I have a lot of people, a lot of members in unpassive that know about the uh, the O staff. So we are very happy that O staff will do a lot of work for us. That's, that's what I can see about the O staff in the future. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you, Okan. Thank you very much. Uh, very good stuff. All right. How about Mr. William Marshmallow DeLong? Come on down, brother. 
Hello, Milo. Hey, William. Julie. Hello, Marty. You mentioned to me on your live, how do you like those marshmallows? Well, Marty, uh, we have marshmallows coming in the bunch now. <laughs> but how do you, what do you think of that, Marty? <laughs> I guess way, way more marshmallows than you're going to be able to eat, William. <laughs> I could, I can't wait. Uh, also, I sent uh, uh, the, the Susan video to my HR department that I work for, so I imagine they'll they'll want to speak to me later on. And they have outlets in the United States and in Canada. So it'll go very far. Wonderful that's, product. That's very lovely, William. I'm glad that you shared it out. And I think Susie did a beautiful job, you know, just sharing her experience being in HR department. And so I'm glad you're doing that. And as you know, there are everyone around here. You could reach out to anyone uh, if you ever need. William, do you have anything else to say? I, I just yeah, kind of- Yes, uh, I was on the webinar last night, the Friday Night Live, where we can visualize uh, how to use the products. So that's gonna be a very, uh, we're gonna be, Techie, much techie <laughs> involvement in, in the products. So that's good for our founders. <laughs> absolutely. It is absolutely right, William. I'm glad you are doing well, William. Well, wait till I start getting some marshmallows in my wallet. <laughs> 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 That's going to be awesome. Thank you, William, for being here with us. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring on Jean Pierre, John Pierre, John Pierre, O W O O winner, John Pierre. Yes, yes, Julie, it's Jean Pierre. Hello, everyone. Hello, Leadership Council. Hey, hey, hey. Glad to be here. <laughs> Julian Marshall, you guys doing a great job. Uh, yeah, by the way, I'm Jean-Pierre Kemonier. I'm calling from Texas, uh, United States. So I just want to share my thoughts about the whole stuff that we, we witnessed last Thursday. That is a mind blowing, okay? It's a mind blowing. It's, it's wow, yeah. I've, 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 I've worked with one organization named Red Cross. I'm not working, I've never worked in the HR department, but the way I seen it, because sometimes when they call me, I have to lead more than 50 people, 50 persons. So the way they we work is that they have to take a phone call to call each of everyone to see if you are available to go and help what need, needs are. And that is very huge. Doing using our all staff product gonna be really helpful because you, you can just have everything in one place for the Red Cross to do it. You can just go and sort it. Just tap in information, I need people available to, to, for this action. Directly you have all the data that you need for and you retrieve it and you just send an email to those people directly. And that will be very quick, save, save money, save time, save a lot of things. That's awesome. I just see that it's awesome. So a lot of people, a lot of organizations, a lot of countries going to be difficult what we are doing. And that's a very good thing. I'm just want to say it's a massive and we keep growing, keep growing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So the teams are doing a very good job. I just want to let you guys know that. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jean, Jean Ferrer. <laughs> Jean Pierre. Ah, ah. Jean Pierre, it's a French name. You can there say you go. All right. yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Great, yeah, you're good, great man. You're good. No problem. Yeah. Uh, great words. All right. Next up, we have from South Africa, none other than Mr. Alan G. Come on down, Alan. 
Hi everybody, I uh, just have a question. How easy is it to integrate into existing HR programs that people are having in their businesses? I'm sorry, what was that, Alan? Uh, the integration of, a, of our staff into existing uh, systems that are there. How uh, easy is the integration? Oh, I don't think there's anything that, that you'll ever find that's easier than this because Remember, you can put it into Excel, you can put it in a CSV file, you know, all that stuff, and it, it will integrate right into it. So, I mean, you want first name, last name, you just build that sheet up and just uh, import it right in. You know, I think it's, I think it will be very easy uh, to work with stuff like that. Andy coming up can probably answer that better uh, in a minute, but uh, that's what I would say. Okay. Because my daughter works for the blood transfusion service, and they've been using a system there. So I was wondering how easy it would be for integration into the existing systems. This is what I'm saying. It's a changeover from what they're using to our staff. It's going to be difficult. Or I I believe it would be very uh, easy. Uh, Marty, Andy, someone that knows more about it than me. Uh, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know that much more, but I can tell you this, Alan. If you have another business and this is better, if, if this o, o, um, staff is better, which it will be, you can download files from any other thing and put it on there. It'll instantly have what they have there in a matter of minutes. If you can download a file, it will take it and then you modify it. To, to even bring it down even more narrow of what you really want, because I guarantee none of them have all the bells and whistles of those of staff house. I guarantee it. Okay, thanks. Thank, Thank you. you, Alex. I appreciate you for coming on. I see that Angie Hans. Let me go ahead and mute my Alan because there's some noise coming out from there. Um, I do see that Angie Han has her hand raised, and as we all know, Angie Han has some background in HR and as I was watching Leon was speaking and her head was nodding, nodding, agreeing with what Leon said. So I love to hear from you, Anjay. Hi, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Leon, is, is he still here? He said some great, great things. Um, so I was waiting for old stuff uh, for a long time because it's the tool um, so I worked uh, many years in the payroll um, sector and, and with HR. So I, I knew if I would see all stuff, I can compare and I know what we will have in hand. And all stuff is, is, a, is a diamond, really. Um, I work for the Deutsche Bank. Um, it's, it's a, we, we have 18,000 um, employees in Germany. And so uh, we did the payroll for all these people and um, we need a lot of tools and you have the licenses like Leon said you have to pay the support you have to pay everything and it's the high costs will be the main reason why so many departments and companies will uh, join on passive only because of all staff I guess uh, for me it, it will be one of the key uh, tools for on passive so I'm absolutely blown away, um, and I can't wait to um, to play with it. Yeah, to test it. So awesome! Thank you. Absolutely, thank you, Anjay, for coming on. Milo, back to you, Milo. All right, thank you, Anjay. That was that's good to hear from people who use things like that, uh, and I believe it's going to be the same thing. It's one of the big guns out there. All right, Mr. Richard Lamoth, come on down from Alabama, or come on up. Of all your beautiful men, women, and children of the world from the bottom of my heart. Well, I was on a webinar just before this one, and John found something about old stuff that I think you all want to know. If you go to old chat in your back office, and you ask Sona, what is O staff? She will give you a link that brings people to O chat with become a founder in it. You that just said O chat. 
Richard, you said O chat instead of O, o staff. staff, just not you meant to say O staff. No, if you go to O chat and ask O chat Sona, what is O staff? She will give you a link just like number 49. But it brings people to O staff and it's got become a founder on it. The link that brings them to your registration link. Absolutely. Thank you, Richard. And thank you, John, for seeing that as well. As we all understand, hugs to you as well, Richard. As you understand, uh, a lot of our viewers right now are watching from all around the world will not understand what is link 49 mean. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of secret. If you are right now not a founder of Unpassive, you could go to www.unpassive.com, okay? That is link 49 for all of us who are founders of Unpassive. What does that mean? Unpassive is our business. Each and every individual who are founders will be owning, right? because we have the link that linked to us, we'll have our name as ofounders.com, right? If you are viewers, if you are guests are joining us today, take, write down www.onpassive.com, okay? That is our link number 49. When our founders here, is going to share link number 49 in our back office. It has our name attached to it because if you were going to press link number 49 that I share out, and if you click on becoming a founder, it has my name to it. It's a big thing for me because I am going to be a business owner who own a business just like on passive.com right now. Think about that. Just think about that. Go to www.unpassive.com if you are a guest and please explore that website. If you are a founder of on passive, your business is linked 49 right now. It's powerful. So many products on there. And yes, today we are focusing on O staff because we did, on Passive did launch O staff to their founders um, last Thursday. So thank you, Richard and John, for pointing that out. I'm bringing it back to Milo. Milo. All right. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. All right. Next up, we have Mr. Key Wendell. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. Augustine. Augustine. I can't say the last name, Augustine. Augustine Come on down. Chippy. How you doing? Come on down, brother. Okay. I'm right here. Can you hear me? I can hear you good. Okay. So we talk about uh, old staff. And uh, I'm telling you that we do not even know 75% um, of uh, old staff because there are a lot of things in there. Um, just come to think about it. When um, a company outsource, you know what I mean by outsourcing services and uh, processes to other companies, the reason is because it is very expensive for that company to, 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 to carry out those processes or to provide those services. And uh, since they want to uh, reduce cost, they give it to uh, other companies. So when you come to our old staff, we see that it's gonna cut down on our expenses. So take for example, uh, payroll. You're not gonna, I mean, the companies that use our uh, old uh, staff will not have to outsource because it's not gonna be as expensive as it was before. And uh, they can get their things done I mean, because it is automated, you don't have to get a new company to pay them for over the years. But once you acquire um, all staff, you are able to use it forever. 
And uh, well, maybe there are some fees, but the fees will not be as much. So I see all staff as a real, 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 real uh, uh, savior to most companies. And um, I think the companies will not complain about not have, making money and so they cannot pay their workers and so on. So this is a real, 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 real um, uh, big, big, uh, uh, what we call it software or a program, which uh, we will have many other people. I mean, many companies and uh, they should be able to progress. They should be able to make the bottom line, the bottom line that they need, they will be able to get it. I mean, I've just given just the tip of the iceberg. Thank you, Jolie. Thank you, Milo. And uh, all founders, uh, keep your eyes focused on this product because it is a real product. Thank you. Absolutely, Austin. Thank you so much for joining us today. You know, as we're going through all this, and as my I mentioned about www.unpassive.com, it is our company website. But if you are a guest joining us today, you want to get back with the person who shared this with you, who invited you to this webinar, the person that who shared the, our YouTube uh, channels, you know, there are about five of them, six of them are out there. Get back with them and say, you know what? I want to know more about on passive. And I want to take a look at that link 49 when Julie and John and, and Richard mentioned, because you want to do that. When you come to onpassive.com, you cannot become a founder when you go to that webinar. But if you get back to the person that shared this webinar, this YouTube link with you say, you know what, I like to take a look at that for number 49, um, you know, link number 49, and that person will share with you. So just a reminder for everyone, if you're watching this webinar around the world, get back with the person who share on passive with you and uh, it is a place you want to be. So thank you so much for Austin. And up next, I see Key Window is here with us. Hi Key, good to see you. Good to have you with us. Hey, hey Julie, hey everybody. I was sending a text. Um, Yeah, we got snow down here in North Carolina. I saw Julie did a live and she was in a little chilly weather. Um, so, in, in the South, for all of you Northern snow type people, when we get just a little bit of snow, like three inches, everybody freaks out. You can't buy bread, you can't buy milk. And of course I didn't have a few things. I wanted to make me some snow cream. So I wagered out this morning and went to the grocery store. Best time to shop. Nobody's in the store. It's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm excited about the, uh, uh, the product. I'm not an HR person, but here's, here's the thing, guys. Um, anytime, um, a new technology, a new software, a new car, a new, a new product, a new, anything, a new iPhone from Apple, people talk. Angie's going to talk to people that she knows at Deutsche Bank about OSTAF, somebody up in the chain who controls their dollar spent on software and product, they're going to see it. That person is going to share it with somebody else at another business that has 18,000 employees, and it's going to save them a gazillion dollars. I mean, it's just, you know, it, it's just what's going to happen. It's, it's human nature. This product with all the bells and whistles that we saw, and I'm not an HR guy. I mean, I know what, what I need to do as an employee. Um, in fact, today I was supposed to be sitting in class because I have three of my credentials that are expiring, my ACLS, my PALS, and my BLS. All that has to be kept up by HR when all that stuff expires. And in the medical field, all of us have licenses and special certificates and everything that we need. So I can see it being a huge tool for our HR people in the medical field, but word of mouth guys, I mean, this thing is going to get shared. And then when it comes down to the bottom line of saving money, yeah, what's, what's the motivator in business cutting costs. And if they can cut the cost and provide a superior product, I mean, it, it'll sell itself. I mean, it's just, 
companies are going to come on board and they're going to look for this product. It's, it's a huge winner, guys. We're in a great, great place. I'm excited to be here with y'all and, and, uh, I'm going to make me some snow cream. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. We've been getting a lot of snow down south. I don't know what the heck's going on, but I, I don't care for it. I got wanted to get away from it. But uh, anyway, we got a little bit more uh, yesterday, you know, and so hopefully it'll be gone by tomorrow. But uh, All right. Next up, we got Mr. Engineer Mike. Come on down, engineer. Mike. Hello, everybody. Nice Saturday here in Houston. We don't have too much snow, but the weather is just uh, mild. Thank you all the leadership council members present here for all what you guys have been doing. Um, thank you, Julia Milo. Thank you, Linda Kamodo. And Chris Johnson, Madi Degamo. You people know, we don't need to be calling you. You know, we know what you're doing for us. So I just wanted to throw a light on something about on the o, o staff. I want to talk about when you go to our presentation, you will see an abbreviation, which is HM, HRMS, which means Human Resource Management System, which is a suit of, it's a package of softwares, which um, organizations, they use to, um, to manage internal human resource functions. Then we go, we have another one, which is um, HROIS, which means Human Resource Information System, <clears throat> excuse me, which is just a database which tracks employee data or employee information. And we have another one, which is HCM, which is Human Capital Management. Um, it is a set of um, practice, low practices and tools used to um, for recruiting, okay, managing and developing employees. So let's talk about when I say HROIS, what does that mean? Let's take in a situation that in, uh, in, in Houston or in Texas, they have a, a hospital, which is very big, the Memorial Hermann's Hospital Systems, okay? So let's say they have more than 10 hospitals in Houston, in Texas, the Memorial Hermann uh, um, Hospital System. So they, you, you are working in their hos hospital in Fort Bend County. Let's say that. Now you are an employee. When they employ you, they get all your details, the department you work for, your first name, your last name, your date of birth, and your address. All that information is kept. Now that system is kept in a in a in a in a, the office environment. We call it. It is it's kept in where we call it um, the Active Directory. Okay. Then in the Linux environment, it is called the LDAP, Lightweight Directory Access Protocol (LDAP). So that information is kept when they when they hire you. They put it there. So when you go, when they transfer you now to their other count, uh, their other hospital, which is found now in, let's say, Harris County. When you go there to Harris County, they don't need to put that information about you anymore. They will just ask you, what's your employee number? When you give your employee number, when they punch it into the system, they can find you that you are a Memorial Hermann's employee. So you can work in the whole Memorial, Memorial Hermann system but you were not employed in that particular hospital, right? So, but because you are in the Memorial um, Hospital system, you can go anywhere in the Memorial Hermann's um, system and you will find, they'll find you registered as an employee. So that is very important. So all this information is found in one, one, one sign-on. When you get that one sign-on, you log in, you get all this information in the HR system of on passive, which is called O staff. Oh my goodness. Thank you, everybody. I'm just getting emotional. I don't want to stick again. <laughs> uh, it's good stuff, Michael. It's good stuff. Uh, you know, it's kind of crazy just watching everyone excited about O staff. Uh, you know, some of us are not from 
the HR department, HR background, but some of us are managers, project managers, and uh, you know, supervisor. I mean, imagine you have to have several systems to log in to be able to make your job go smoothly. But with now with old staff, you can press a button, all your report will be generated, it's all coming out. And it was, it's great. I, I mean, ever since I heard about old staff coming along, um, you know, was gonna be born, I was so excited. And the person that I was excited the most was, was Susie because of being in that industry for so many years. She said she has gone to several programs in order to get one thing done. And it's, it's crazy. So I'm excited for all of us because we don't really need to know or have an experience in HR, but we will still be able to use OSTAF and be able to beta test it, be able to, um, to share it with other people. So if you, if you are watching this program here with us, here we have, um, you know, close to 250 people, you know, we could, uh, we would love for you to join us as well. Get back with the person who shared this with us with you and say, hey, you know what? This is where you wanna be. I see that we have Chris Johnson is here and uh, I know he's busy, but I'm just gonna call on him. You can't escape me. <laughs> you always gotta pick on me. <laughs> I do, always. Hey, hey, hey folks. Hey, listen, I don't know why anyone would not be excited about something like this. I'm like he, I'm not HR. I've dealt with issues like that at my job with inventory and tenants. And it was a pain in the arse is what it was. Hello world, it was a clean word. Let me tell you something. <laughs> when you got something this strong, this reliable, and it makes your life easier, why wouldn't you at least look at it? That's my thing. He said some key points there, okay? Sharing, think about your dentist office. All right. Think about your auto, uh, uh, your auto guy that fixes your car. They all got schedules. They all got inventory. They've got people. There isn't nobody that's out of your reach that you can share this with or talk to with. It's amazing. Get on the internet. Start shooting these big companies. This is what I do. About oh staff. Let them know that it's here. It's 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 really here, and we're gonna find a way to introduce that to some of these businesses. Um, we talked to Ash about three days ago when Susie brought something up and I said, I'd like to get some kind of trial basis going for businesses that can actually play with it. Look at it, compare it to what they got. You can't lose folks. I mean, when we say it's all done for you, it really is. You don't have to be a genius to be an impassive, you know, even though we all are geniuses, we know that and good looking, but it's right there. It's at a push of a button for you. It was made for you. It was done for you. And if you're not excited, I really get upset when people are not excited about it. Don't question it. Don't question it. Look at it. Think about all the people that could just, just the one product. Oh, staff is going to put us where we want to be. I can promise you that. But think about all the other stuff we got that connects into oh, staff. Okay. It's huge, folks. When I say huge, I mean huge. It's something that none of us can really, we can't comprehend this yet. We really can't. Not even my big brother, Marty, can comprehend it. It's that big. What it's going to do for businesses around the world. Thanks, Marty. You know, I love when I'm center council. What it's going to do for businesses is going to be unbelievable. Nothing can touch us. Nothing can stop us. We are going straight to the top and beyond. So you better get excited because like I said before, if you're not, I'm going to either email you or knock on your door. And I'm going to get you excited about this because it's here for us. It's here to help us become better. Ash Mafar has made us all better people. That's what he's done. You just don't know it. Your heart is turned. You just don't know it. I see some pretty tough people on here that thought, ah, ah. And now they're, ooh, they're crying like me once in a while. It's okay. Let it out. Because this is here to help us all. That's all I got, Julie. Back to you. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Chris. That was good stuff. And that is true. None of us know uh, what it's uh, what it's all going to be like. And I've written down a whole bunch of things that, uh, you know, from the other day when it was, and maybe I'll get time to go through it. But uh, let's bring on Lynn Nakamoto. Come on down. Hello, everybody. Well, this is what I say about OSTAP. What is there 
that you don't like about O staff? What's there to not love about O staff? O staff is user friendly, it's automated, integrated, uses AI, it's AI embedded, uh, no usage limits. We don't charge by usage. In other words, if an employer has multiple locations, believe me, that employer is going to be paying more for the HRM software. If they have more administrators that they want to be using this software, they're going to be paying more. But with O staff, none of that applies because we have flat rate pricing. And remember, O staff is scalable. Whether the employer has one employee or millions of employees, O staff is going to meet that employer's needs. So bottom line is that O staff is a superior product and provides an all-in-one solution for any employer. And there is no product out there that will even touch O staff. So watch out world because O staff is going to take a large share of the market. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lynn. You're absolutely 100% right. And you know what? There are also 10 other products are integrated and intertwined in with O staff as well. So when you are an on passive founders, you get to get access to all of those products. And once you have a chance to watch the video when we launch O staff, those little dot right next to the emblem of O staff, you're going to see 10 other products on there as well. So if you are a business owner, this particular product, O staff, is made for you. You're going to love it, right? I see that Mike, uh, Engineering Mike, has his hand raised again. Did you want to speak again, Engineering Mike? Yes, uh, Julie. I just wanted to add something when we're, we're talking also about link number 49. That yesterday for us founders, we should watch the back office or our virtual offices because um, I did a comprehensive on uh, link number 49, how to get it, what to do with it, how to generate your QR code, and also to use O-Mail to send it to people. Mm -hmm. So we did it yesterday in our Lean and, uh, and Run show Friday night. Then we did it today this morning again. So check, be checking your back office or your virtual offices and you will get that thank you very much um julie it was very good too michael you did a great job man. all right thank you is that on is that on the live shows uh this morning uh marty and it's on Mike? it's on ron and lynn recording last night so uh okay. lynn lynn is going to share that with us and then we're going to take that and we're going to put in our channel as well so if you are a subscriber to any of the channels that are doing live stream right now look for that video as well um it was awesome. a good job that you did mike uh, michael um and you know it's another thing too is that there are so many companies right now having a hard time with their HR department, are struggling with their HR department because they don't have enough funds to pay for what's uh, some of the programs that are out there. You know, as Leon has said, you know, the basic program for the Run Their District, it's 500,000. That's only just the basic. Lots of ads on to it and they ended up, you know, what, paying over a million, $1.4 million for that program to run it. O staff, it's a program that can help you run your entire business and the cost is very minimal. Right now, if you are a O founders, if you are a founder of OnPassive, all it costs you today, you know, to be a founder of OnPassive is $97. Think about that. What can you spend for $97? Maybe a steak dinner and uh, uh, a glass of wine? And then tomorrow it's gone, right? But if you are spending that same amount of money to become a founder of OnPassive, you get access to the products that we are talking about. And one of that product is O staff. So business owner, doesn't matter how big, how small, medium, doesn't matter where you are in the world, O staff is specially made with you in mind, right? The price is incredible. 
I'm going to send it back to Milo. Could you introduce Bruce? All right. And next up, we got Mr. Bruce Gerstein from Delray Beach, Florida. Come on down, brother. I hope you're doing better. I'm doing the best I can, Milo. Thank you very much. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Oh, Steph is the absolute game changer. We all agree on that. So I'm thinking, <laughs> Key has said something about <laughs> every every business wants to make money. So it goes back to what Charles says in the guest founder. When he looked at his business, he said his questions were, one, is it legal? And is it legitimate? Does it have a product that people need and want? To, and all those were yes. And the next question was, can I make money? And the answer was yes. And I said, do I have to spend money every month for this? And the answer was no. And those are simple questions put out there for people. So don't make it so difficult. How am I going to do this? It's very simple. If you have if you have a business, we look at a hospital business. Key knows hospital business. Many people here know the hospital business. I remember I worked in New York City for the collections department. So they were things that were 30 years old and much, much worse. I ran into a woman who had, whose husband died from uh, dialysis. She had a bill for $75,000 they want to collect on. And you know what the reason was? Human error. Because those people didn't want to be, they couldn't look at all the paper necessary. She needed to be covered. So I basically filed in, this, in the pail next to me. But the thing about Oak, Oak Staff is that this, this makes everything possible. And it puts you in, in a place where staff becomes HR is human, human, human resources. And people can see people, people as human beings rather than just numbers and statistics. And all of this will make a big difference in the world, like all of our passive will. So my voice is failing again, but I'm excited about what's going to happen. Thank you, Bruce. Welcome. Try to think, keep it under three minutes. I'm so glad you're here, Bruce. Me too. I hope you're staying well. I love the pictures you put out there about you were doing some jumping um, out there. And I know you are going through some, you know, health right now. And I do hope that you are getting well and getting better soon. All right. Um, Judy, love to hear from you, Judy. Hi, Julie. I was just thinking uh, about whether or not we had people that have or are currently running an HR division, if they might be able to put some figures together for us to let us know approximately what it costs them per month so that we could then go out and market our um, O staff and um, have a comparison. Because I know a lot of times with merchant accounts, people will actually have them fill out questionnaires to compare the difference in the pricing and what they're paying now and what they could be paying. So I'm wondering if somebody would be able to do something like that for us to give us an idea of what we're really talking about, the differences. Milo, any thought about that? Uh, I would think that uh, there is pro that will probably uh, become something over time, you know, as, as uh, they talk to, you know, different people and people do come on. Uh, I would think that it is, but it is going to vary quite a bit because uh, depending on, you know, uh, you know, a, a company of one or two is not going to cost as much as a company of three million, you know, sure. uh, so there will be uh, uh, variances on that. But I would think over time that uh, someone will come up with something like that. Yeah, good. OK, thank you. Just my thought. I love it. All right. My one, can I add to that? Sure. You know, Susie brought up a very good point on the webinar the other day, Judy, 
how much it costs for all these different platforms that didn't have anything. Uh, a lot of things were not even in what Ostaff has. And each one of those, those platforms and those products was a huge, she was saying it was in the hundreds of thousands for just one of them to do what uh, Ostaff does for everything. So $300 a month for all the products in Ostaff, it's, it's a trillion dollar investment. So like, like Milo said, uh, different businesses are bigger, bigger sizes. The main thing is they will save money. And I'm sure Marty's going to add something to this. Okay. Marty? Yes. Don't listen to anything he just said. And no, I'm just kidding. No, he's right. And the other thing, keep in mind, everybody, when we get to uh, on Passive, there will probably be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different websites about every product we have that will you could share and it'll blow people away i'm telling you and don't forget about oh create you can make your own website you can take all the information really i mean we haven't seen nothing yet you're not going to have to do a whole lot of anything you want to share something there'll be a website a what replicated website to your name your your domain and you'll be able to share whatever product you want to share i believe <laughs> Wonderful. thank you everybody Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Marty and Chris. Absolutely. Um, you know, if you are a guest joining us here today, uh, what we are talking about is the opportunity of becoming a founder of OnPassive, an artificial intelligent information technology company. And if you have not heard about our company um, at all, I would say go to www.unpassive.com. But most of all, get back with the person who shared this opportunity with you. There are so many videos, so many webinars that is coming on. We would love for you to join us um, and you know attend some of our webinars so that you could understand a little bit more about uh, Unpassive and about the products that we are talking about here. Today, we are focusing talking about uh, OSTAF, one of our uh, many, many product. And OSTAF is an HR uh, human resources management product that uh, if you are a business owner, you might want to be part of it. And as you understand, uh, founders of Unpassive, the position is probably going to go to the end very soon. So if you still like to understand and know more about the founder position of Unpassive, how is OSTAF? You want to know more about that? Uh, product as well, join us today. It's only $97. And if you pay credit card, it's a $5 extra credit card fee. Once you become a founder of OnPassive, you have a chance, just like many, many of us, witness the development of the products, uh, the progress. And you can see that all these products are being built from the scratch uh, from the ground up and you get to witness the development, the growth of Unpassive as well. To do that, all you got to do is get back with the person who shared this message, who shared this webinar, who shared this YouTube with you um, and uh, sign on to be a founder. Once the company start launched to the world, um, we're going to go ahead and pay another fee. It's about 200 to $300 and that's all. That's all the money that is going to come out of our pocket. You will never have to go out of pocket again after you pay for that fee. And you know, as you understand, we do have a company to run on passive as a company to run. All the subscript, uh, subscription after that will be coming out of your profit, the profit that on passive is made for you is as easy as that as owning a business so i see my co-host raising his hand i know i always pass my three minutes so i'm sending it back to milo <laughs> hey you're fine you're fine julie uh but i just uh, let's uh let's kind of wrap this part up i want to go through the notes that i had taken the other day and i know lynn nakamoto hit on a, a whole lot of them but let me just run through some things that I've got written down and then let's move on to uh, whatever we're going into next if we've got time. I, we've Absolutely. Got a few minutes. Okay. So number one, any business at all can use this. Uh, the big thing is that it's integrated. Everything is all put together. All these different programs are put together. You got Oak County, you got 
uh, personal files, you got taxes, you got anything you want to do, which is unheard of in one system, and it's a single sign-on. This will revolutionize the, the business uh, technology that's out there. And uh, it's open to all founders. Remember, next week, all founders uh, will be getting this. Uh, 500 this week and uh, all founders next week. Now, I don't know. It could be next week on Saturday, but uh, next week, they said. Uh, it's the first AI-driven HR system, which I know uh, uh, Lynn had said. Uh, all tools are for any tool that you can think of is there for HR. Uh, it's competitively priced, or it's actually better than competitive price. Uh, any business can use it, you know. It's not only for the multi-billion dollar businesses, it's for the it's for the onesies, the twosies, the moms and pop stores. Anyone can use it. And I can tell you, looking at it, I can see where anyone can use it. Even as a founder, you can use it to set up your your founder base, you know, and stuff. I plan on using that. It's cost effective. Um uh, it automates uh, HR questions, uh, you know, so you, things that people might have to question uh, HR, they go into the chat box or whatever, boom, and it, it populates it, you know. So you never have to repeatedly answer questions. It's uh, It's got a $20 billion market cap, $20 billion right now, right at $20 billion, and I think it's supposed to be $25 billion in a, in a couple years. Uh you have it if you want, you know, you can have touchless attendance. So you don't have to punch a time clock. You can have uh, the facial recognition. Now, all of these things, remember, are customizable. You can use what you want, take, throw away what you don't want. Uh, it has all the tools and all the resources, has everything uh, goal, payroll, goals, payroll, onboarding, all documents. Uh, you know, you could have your employee manual in. Remember, if you have training that you want to do, you put it in there, and once you bring a guy on board, he gets all those videos on training. You don't have to go through all of that with him uh, no more. How much time is that going to save? How much money is that going to save? People can do it in the comfort of their own home, and we like convenience. Okay, uh, and then what about the input buttons? This is one thing that was amazing to me is they, they allow you to get data into the program and out of the program very easy. That is unheard of. I mean, everyone wants to put you in and then like Angie and some of them said, you know, they want to charge you to go to another level or you want to add more people. Okay, well, we got to add a charge. We got to add this. We got to add that. Remember with own passive, there is no ads. It's, it's updated and I didn't even start my clock. So I don't know. I might be running close to three minutes. <laughs> All right, but I got a few more points here, uh, Julie. So uh, you can you can manage multiple businesses with it. So uh, it doesn't just mean one business. If you got multiple business, if you're a corporation and you want to break different things off, I'm sure you can do that. I I'm not sure, but I would think that you could probably even have uh, each one set up their own and then some way bring that all into one system. You know, so uh, if you've got you know uh, certain money centers that are running, you know, and you want to watch each of them and just have it kind of separate, you could do it rather than having everyone see all million of people in your uh, employees. Uh, it's a one-stop shop. You know, you don't need to go anyplace else. My mom used to say whenever there was something that was really good, she would say, if they don't have it, you don't need it. So if OSTAP don't have it, you probably don't need it. But if you do need it, and everyone else needs it, guess what? It's going to be available to us so we can make that up. Uh, updates are always free. You never pay for updates. Uh, employee manuals, the process, like I said, all of that uh, is going to make it so much easier. How about uh, the export button? So if you want to get information out, you just click a button, send it to a CSV file or a Microsoft Excel file or a PDF file. Three different options. Uh, that's crazy, you know. Uh, just think about the CEO or the managers or whoever in the system will have access to everyone's birthday, their anniversaries, their day that they join, stuff like that, days that are important to people where maybe you just go or send an email and say, hey, I know today's your birthday, happy birthday. That means a lot to people. A lot of times, like we were saying, me and Marty were saying, you know, it's not necessarily always the money that keep people working for you. It's the loyalty, 
comes from you being their friend, you appreciating them. You know, they're not going to leave you if you thank them and if you appreciate them and, and stuff like that. They, they enjoy working there. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. I think that's about all the points I got to make, Julie. I don't know how I, I know I went over three minutes and I'm sorry for that, but uh, <laughs> I just had to take it, you know. Absolutely, Milo. You know, as as many of us uh, here watching the Julie and Milo show, we do make our own rules for ourselves too. You know, every time, every time when I speak longer than what I, what, what's the time limits milo either did this or this or he raised his hands you know and, and it's all this and that it, it's just because we love sharing on passive and sometimes many of us just keep going and on uh you know to share about it. it's a passion that's keep running and as you're watching this you know it's really important all you have to do is to keep your mind open up to receive that information that is shared here as you open up and understand and receive and accepting the information that share here, it will help you make the better decision. It will help you understand more of what we're sharing here. So I'm going to save the last 30 minutes of our show today. I wanted to ask the founders of Unpassive, okay? I know many of us are looking forward to launching of Unpassive right? Many of us, we are aesthetic about it. We are exciting about it. We're so looking forward to launching on passive. So if you could, at this point, please raise your hands and let's just focus on that question only. I know you are looking forward to the launching of on passive. Why are you looking forward to launching of on passive? This is the time for you to raise your hands up. We have Let's see, close to 250, 40 people. We have about 30 minutes. So let's take we can about take a minute and a half. Oh, okay. Let's just take a minute and a half and answer that question. Would love for you to raise your hands. That just focus on that question. Why are you looking forward to launch of, uh, to the launching of Unpassive? Please raise your hands and we'll call on you. Uh, Engineering Mike? Yes, Julie. I'll wait. I'm waiting for Unpassive to be launched. I can't wait to touch my hands on Obless. Obel, Obless, I, I screen just in, is a crusader for Obless. Obless is like a signature product to Unpassive. Obless will change a lot of lives for people. It will change the life of communities. It will change the life of countries. We have so many big projects, all because Unpassive is the beacon of hope for humanity. Using all blessed platform, we can touch so many lives. The people in uh, the, the homeless people in in, in uh, all over there in Chicago, everywhere, come everywhere. So we have we can feed the, the poor people and all the other people who don't have where what to do. People who have lost hope in life. Those roads which we could, we could not drink in water to people, sick people, the mentally retarded people, the people who are the underprivileged in society because our CEO created this platform with his big heart so that we can share with what we have with other people. So I'm waiting for O Bless, Julie. I want Unpassive to launch today because I want to use O Bless to touch more lives. Thank you. All right, thank you, Engineer Mike. And next up, we have Mr. William DeLong, Marshmallow DeLong. Come on down. Hello. Hi, Milo. <laughs> yes, I want to fix that underlying issue, as Mike was saying. That's the first thing you want to do. And then from there, we can help other people. <clears throat> But as you're saying, uh, we become, like you say, entrepreneurs that have residual income, we become independent from the government. And the government uh, are not doing what they should do. But we all know that. So, this is a different avenue which we're going to take. And 
God bless everyone here that becomes a Mother Teresa. That's what I have to say. We're, that's what we're here for, to help. Absolutely. William, thank you so much. And I know you choked up a little bit because I know that is very meaningful to you. Thank you so much for sharing. I just wanted to remind everyone, if you are speaking, uh, have a glance at Milo because he's probably going to clapping or rubbing his hand about the last 10 seconds so that we uh, so that we can wrap it up. It's just because I like to hear from as many people as possible. So uh, Charles Nicholson, good to have you here and thank you for joining us. Please uh, go ahead and speak. Well, thank you. Thank you, Julie and Mike and everybody. Thanks for being on. Um, Charles Nicholson here from Dallas, Texas. Uh, let me just say this to everyone. And um, this is a spiritual thing more than I see this really as a as a real spiritual movement. Uh, there's been over, like I said before, there's been over four million people that have resigned from their jobs in the last every month for the last six months in the United States alone. And people are looking for opportunities to change their life, to spend more time with their families, to spend to have more freedom to do the things they truly want to do. And because of that, I think there is there is a tax, I think, because it isn't a spiritual thing. There's, there, there's things that's going to happen. We just need to be patient as we go through these. But I really believe that Ash has been uh, has been ordained and called for this time. And we need to just be patient as things roll out. I'm very excited about every one of the products that are coming out. Uh, we, we've got such an amazing opportunity and uh, just want to let people know that you're at the right place at the right time with the right company and the, with, with the right founders. So let's keep moving forward, folks. Appreciate everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. All right. Thank you, Charles. And next up, we have Jay Wu. Come on down, Jay Wu. Hello, everyone. I am excited and look so looking forward to the launch because I can't, I'm anticipating that that sigh, that sigh of relief, that deep breath is going to come on that day when we have our global launch and you can actually exhale and start breathing the rest of your life. There's so, our products are great. Where we're going is great. We all have plans and ideas about what we want to do and where we want to go. Um, but that's the day that it's going to start. So I'm looking for relief from you know, the tensions that come with anxieties about what's coming next. And then I'm looking forward to uh, the excitement about all the possibilities that will start to actually manifest themselves once we are on the road. Absolutely, Jay. Well, thank you so much for coming on. And I hope you're doing fantastic well, because I know you are in um, Ghana, I, I feel you travel there to your home. So I'm glad that you are here with us today. And yeah, and you, thank you. I actually just recently returned, Julie. Um, that's beginning the time, five hour time difference, sort of difficult, more difficult to catch the uh, programming uh, over there than here. But I'm happy to be back. I'm getting resettled uh, and I'm, I'm here for the ride. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here and good to see you. Alan G, I see that your hand is up. Hi. Uh, one of the things that the uh, first things I want to do is buy a car. I had my car started in uh, the middle of last year, so I'm using public transport to get around at the moment. So one of the first things I want to do is buy a car. The next one is a, a decent laptop. <laughs> it's <driving> <laughs> Now the two things, two first things I'm doing, you know, get money comes in, off that I'll start helping, uh, first of all, I'll be helping people get pay their, uh, rich, their activation fees, I've got about eight or nine people I'm helping, they are sponsored, so I'll be doing that first and then I'll be doing a uh, laptop and then the car, so that's the order I'm beginning to do. From there to go to a place where I've got lots of people I want to help and projects I want to support. All right. Thank you, Greg. And next up, we have Mr. Greg Lutkin. Like Thank you, Alan. Craig, Greg. All right, let's move to Lystra. Lystra, I'd love to hear from you, Lystra. 
Yes, with the launch enough on passive, oh my goodness, that's so much I want to do. Um, I know that it'll change many, many lives. You know, not only the people out there need, but I especially want to help the children because they're near and dear to my heart, you know, in the uh, countries where they don't have water and food and so on. So that's my plan. Also, I can't leave me out. I know it'll change my life as well. So I am looking forward to all of that. It'll just be so great. So let's go. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Lissa. Let's go back and see if Greg has got his microphone working and video. Greg, are you there? Um, yeah. Um, can you hear me? Can hear you good. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, um, well, I um, I would like to first to get, um, when they have the money to get me an electronic car and either go skiing either this year or beginning of, well, when we get cold again next year, but also be able to uh, inspire other people. I mean, I live in a pretty remarkable place. I lived here for the last uh, 26 or uh, 36 years, but um, I wanted to get, I mean, out of, I mean, right now I'm living on SSI for years, but, you know, I know the power. And uh, <clears throat> unfortunately around here, not many people were, nobody's, taking part of it, but it's not for lack of trying, but somehow people were in a different space. Thank, really you, so thank you. Thank you so much, Greg, for being here with us. Yes, I know that is your dream is to have everything electric cars. So it's gonna come true. For sure. Thank you so much for being here with us. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call on Jean Pierre. Jean Pierre, good to see you at, uh, again, and uh, please unmute your mic. Okay, thank you, Julie, to give me the floor. Uh, why? Why do I want, want to, uh, to? My answer to that question, Julie, is this thing. First of all, I'm a person of loving heart and happy hand. So when you see around us, all over, uh, around the world. There are many communities, many families who cannot afford even to send kids at school. And you have many schools and many places where you can see children just sit on the floor to take the instruction that given us. So in that case, I, I realize that I have to create a foundation who are gonna help those communities, those families to make their life being better. So that's the one reason of that, because I need to change their life. And the other reason, the other part, this early this morning, Julie, I, I was watching one, one uh, TV. They were talking about the wealth. How can the politics in each country can change the wealth of the richest people, the billionaire people, that they can help poor people. You can see that all the world are changing in the way that they want every person, every poor person can become much better. And that's the vision of Unpassive. And that's that case, that's the reason why normally I want all those things. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jacques Briere. Thank you. All right. And next up, we got Mr. Modu. Mo Modu, come on down. Yeah, Mr. Milo. My name is Mo Modu. I, call, I said, call me Jalo, is the easiest way. <laughs> Jalo. Yes, sir. Thank you all. You know, um, I'm praying for Unpassive to come to the world because, you know, so I'll stop walking because I've been struggling for too long. And since I came to this country, I'll be walking. And you all can attest to that. Anytime you see me on, on, on the Zoom, I'm walking. So I know when on passive launches, on passive will 
save me from that part. And at the same time, I'll be able to do what I have been trying to do, helping my people, changing their lives, my community and my country. So that's what I'm praying for. And I have a lot to do and to offer. So this is what I've been praying for every day. Thank you all for giving me this opportunity to say it. Thank you, Momoji. Good to see you here. And I also like to say hello to London and Paris uh, who are watching over there with uh, their grandpa, uh, Richard, as well. All right. Let's bring on Marie Pandy. Marie, love to hear Hi. from you. Yes. Good afternoon. Thank you again for giving me the opportunity. I cannot wait for on passive to launch because first of all i would with the returns i'm going to situate myself so i can quit my job while i stabilize that i can't wait to use oh bless i would like to use all the all the advantages of oh bless plus all the other thing all the other returns that i will have from on passive I can't wait to build a hospital, a state-of-the-art hospital in a poor place where poor people will come and get quality care for free. I can't wait to stabilize the mental health with their medication and the homeless who do not have places to sleep, create a place for them to, to, to stay. I cannot wait to increase the money that I, when I receive my paycheck every two weeks, I take $50 and change it into two, uh, two, uh, five and uh, one dollars. Because when you drive in the streets of DC and you come to a stoplight, guess who comes around your car to beg for money? For a meal, it's, there are people who don't even have, they don't even know where their next meal is. I will roll my window and give them $5. This time when on passive launches, I think I'll be able to proudly give them $20 to go find a meal. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Marie. Thank you, Marie. And uh, okay, we've got enough uh, to finish out the show. So Marcian will be the last one to uh, come up. We've got two more people. So uh, let's bring on Rita staff right now. Rita, come on down. Hello. Hi, Julie, Miley, Lynn. Happy to see you all. Uh, sorry, I will be coughing a little bit. I'm not feeling well. But I just, Julie, you, are, you look so beautiful. I'm happy to see you. Um, uh, Maria took all my words that I want to say. Thank you, Maria. You have already taken my words, but- um, Marie. Yeah, Marie, <laughs> she took <laughs> all my words. <laughs> but you know, um, I just can't wait for on passive to, to launch. And, I, and I, talk to, uh, I talk about this a lot of time and I'm sure that you're gonna be hearing this every time I talk about. Um, I'm from South Sudan, the youngest country in the world, the poorest country in the world. Um, I can't wait really for this program to be launched. I will quit my job as Marie said, I will go home. I want to help women and children who are suffering that the most people in South Sudan, especially those who lost their husband, those who gave children for um, because of the rape and some who just are homeless, like completely women and children are, are, are suffering. We have to say that if you want to help something, you have to start from your own house and then after that you go out. So that is why I'm going to start doing this one in my home, which is South Sudan. Then after that, when I make sure, because tomorrow, next tomorrow, people will say, why you didn't, why are you leaving your home and you're going outside to help other people? So I want to start with my own house, with my own home. And then when I know that there will be an example for other people, when they see it, they say, oh, those people start there and now look at their people, look at their women, look at the children. Now they have a good food. They have women start having even a small business just to stand on their own. I would say that I'm done enough and then I can go out. This is all my hope that this program has to come out. And Thank you, Rita. Thank you, Rita. All right. And last up, we got Marcianne Hamabu. Marcianne, come on down. 
Thank you so much, Milo and Julie, for giving me the opportunity to speak on your show. Julie, thank you for everything you have been doing and inspiring us with all your thoughts and all your way of doing things. I personally, I have to help myself first. I work three jobs. So with all passive, I know I'm gonna have a time for me and for my family. And also I've been doing a lot of benevolence around the world. We have a charity group called Bright Light Project. We started it on 2012 after Ebola, helping children that they lost their parents. I think this is an opportunity for us to go around in every other country and do what we have been doing. On Passive is just the way to start. And that's with everybody in here. I know we all have the same intention. I always tell people, if you're a part of this, this, it, mean, it was not by mistake. God chose us to be the chosen one and to go around and help people. And we all have that heart. We're gonna help ourselves. I'm gonna help myself in the biggest way, have everything that I need and have more time for other people around the world, starting from doing good and doing what I've been doing. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thank you so much, Marcian. What a beautiful half an hour all of us sharing today. If you actually listen to the last 25 minutes or 30 minutes, many of us have talked about what are they waiting for? Why are waiting for launching? Everybody was talking about how they're gonna quit their job. But the majority of what I hear here today, what I've heard so far today, it's about how to take care of yourself and help other people. You know, none of us here today talk about, oh, I'm going to go buy myself a, an airplane. I'm going to go buy myself. It's not about us, right? None of us here are going to say, I'm going to go buy myself a Rolls Royce or a brand new, you know, luxurious car. Or none of us talking about the luxuries that is coming. But we all know we can get there with OnPassive. And we all know that with OnPassive, we can do what we want, when we want, the ability of doing what we want. But none of us had mentioned about the word money or how much money money we are going to make or how we are going to buy luxury items. I'm not, I'm going to go out there and buy myself a Rolex, for example. None of that here. Many of us are focusing on talking about, I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to focus on me, taking care of me, my family, and then I'm going to go there and helping other people. It's so beautiful just sitting here and witness this today. And viewers, friends, guests that you're watching this video today. This is the culture of Unpassive. This is the community of Unpassive that we are so blessed and so privileged to be part of it. Why not you? Why not you make the decision to be in Unpassive? Why not you, right? Get back with the person who shared this with you. Become a founder today because you are going to experience the happiness, the greatness that we are all experience. We are here. We are very simple people from all the rocks of life. Some of us are struggling right now in our current situation, but we do understand the fact that this current situation, the situation that we have experienced in the past, it's only temporarily it's not gonna stay with us for long. So if you were watching this and you want to be part of Unpassive, part of this culture that we are creating, get back with the person who shared this with you. Sending it back to Milo. Thank you, Julie, thank you, Julie. Like we say always on our show, man, uh, it's a beautiful thing. The blessing part of it is, is a beautiful thing. And I think this is a, it, it's a movement. It's more than a business. It's more than uh, what we think. It is a movement, and I've heard it mentioned many times, you know, but uh, when we think about what Ash said, Ash says, I might not be able to change the whole world, but I can change somebody's world. And then I said, hey, on passive, it's changing the world, one person at a time. And it started with Ash Maparo. 
And I think when it becomes a point where when we talk to the founders, we hear this every time, you know, it might start out with, uh, hey, what's it going to do for me? Uh, you know, I, I got this side gig. How is it going to affect me? And then all of a sudden you start listening to all this stuff and and your your mind and your heart will hook up together and you realize this is a lot bigger than what it's going to do for me. This is about what it's going to do for humanity. How are we going to be able to bless other people? I can't wait for the day when it launches that I'll be able to bless other people because we live in a hurting world. It's hurting all over, you know, and, and a lot of us are struggling right now because of things, what things out of our control. Uh, but we're struggling with it. And, and just imagine when it happens, it's going to be a beautiful thing. And I'm sending it back to you, Miss Julie, to take us out of here because it's time to go home. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Milo. And yes, you are so right on the quote that Mr. Mufarad have said. You know, this is your last business and last opportunity. So get back with the person who shared this opportunity with you and become a founder of OnPassive. Thank you so much, the friends of Julie and Milo show. Thank you very much for you being here every single Saturday and Wednesday with us. We're going to see you back here next week at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And you are, if you are watching us here today on the YouTube channel, please make sure you click the subscribe button, whatever the YouTube channel you are watching it from. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell. When we go live again, you'll be the first one. If you are subscribed, you'll get a notification and you will be the first one who get notified of jumping on one of these call again. Thank you so much friends and guests around the world for joining us today. Thank you for all who spoke today. You are the, gen, uh, the, the energy and the love of on passive. Thank you so much for joining us today. We do hope that you have a great weekend and enjoy the rest of your day. Good night from Orange County, California. Good, Good night. night. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Good night, Good night from Canada. Good night. Good night. Good night from here. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good Washington. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night from the DMV area. Good night. Good night. Good night from Houston. Good night. Good night. Share the love. Share the love. Time of peace is coming. Everyone should sing. Better lie we're loving. Our passive will bring. Anything you need now is in one place. Fullness waiting to be yours, nothing less than grace. Close your eyes, spread your wings, make your dreams come true. Share the joy, share the love.
great and selfless love join to make a paradise on earth with us together and take care of each other forever and forever close your eyes spread your wings make your dreams come true share the joy share the love for the freedom comes to you close your eyes spread your wings spread your wings. make your dreams come true dreams come true you are not alone on passive is your It's here to stay on passive. There's just no better way. Listen to the Julie and the Milo show. Cause then you can be the very first to know on passive. It's here to stay. Julie.